100%. It's my favorite thing to do. I work seven days a week. I've taken three days off this whole year. The, I, I mean, and I love it. My name is CJ Marinaccio. I am the founder and trainer of Win Place Home. We are a 501c3 charity that rehabilitates, um, retrains, and rehomes retired racehorses. The process of retraining, uh, it varies wildly from horse to horse. Some horses, they come off the track and they're like, I'm so done with being a racehorse, I'm ready for my new adventure. Some horses come off the track and they need a little moment to settle down um, before they can start their retraining. And some horses, we had one horse come in and she just said, I just want to be a horse for a few months. So we let her be a horse for a few months and then she said, okay, I'm ready to get down to work and learn some new stuff. So really whatever they decide that they need is what they get here. I started riding when I was four and I got my first horse job when I was 17. I did um, all sorts of disciplines, jumping, dressage, three-day eventing, western. I sort of had a background in, in, in all sorts of disciplines, which made me perfect for this because now I can, whatever they want to do, I can help them in the basics and let them, and then let them thrive in a new home. So it worked out perfect. Place Home, we started in October of 2015. We got our first horse in February of 2016, and then we didn't get our second horse until February of 2017. So the way that Win Place Home works is that we get the donations in, and we don't get in a new horse until we have enough money for that horse. So we're always taking care of the horses first. I never ever want them to feel stressed. I never want to put stress on the charity or them. And then we adopted out our first horse in the summer of 2017, and now we've successfully adopted out 10 horses, and we currently have eight horses at our facility. The way that I think about it is that they um, they win at the racetrack, they're placed with us, and then we find them a home. So, win place home. Their minds are so um, in tune with people. They want to. They want to work. They want to work with people. They um, they're so athletic, and they love the challenge. And they're so willing to do another job. They don't want to just be forgotten about. They don't want to just, you know, be left in a pasture. They want to be engaged in something and learning something and they love the experience and the everything about it. So they love it. The community of off the track thoroughbreds and the aftercare of them is just amazing and it's so great to have that support and the bigger the community that you're a part of, the better support and the better resources that you have. You know, sometimes you have a horse that you're having a hard time placing and you can reach out to other charities that are just like yours and say, you know, we have this horse and we need help and everybody is so willing and, and wanting to help because everybody's doing this for the horse. And it's great to be with like-minded people that are also doing everything they can for these horses. So the process of adoption, when the horse is ready to be adopted, I put it out through social media, um, through emails, through contacts that I have of different trainers and just say, this is who I have available, this is the home I'm looking for specifically, and then I let people contact me. I do a phone interview with them first to make sure that the home that they're offering is you know, very similar or exactly the home that I'm looking for. And then if they pass the phone interview, then they can come down, they can meet the horse, they can ride the horse. The horse will usually tell me if they approve or don't approve and their little eye will soften. They'll be relaxed if they really enjoy the rider. So if, they, if both parties really love each other, then they can apply and our application goes to our board of directors. And then if that gets approved, then they get to fill out the agreement and it's all done.